niggers. The very same things they call us back then, they demonize us, take away our humanity, and they still don't get it. Someday, a president will sign a bill apologizing for all the pain, the bloodshed, for all the struggle, thinking it's going to solve the trail of tears, the Jim Crow laws, the Japanese internment camps. They still won't get it. Their ancestors are still agitated that this pain and trauma is passed down to our seeds, that this pain comes from genetic memory. They will think that all these marches and shouts denouncing their hatred were intended to gain their respect. They still won't get it. They will pray to our gods, cling back to the land. They will ask us about our secrets, about how we have managed to survive. They will use our practices to find peace. They will meditate with us, pray in our temples, seek understanding in our teachings. One day they will see that we are not weak. They will celebrate us, parade us, tell tall tales of us, and they still won't fucking get it. I'm here to protest Wells Fargo and other banks' uh, actions and the way they make profit. Wells Fargo right now is investing in, in a company that profits from incarcerating people who are here looking for a job. Wells Fargo um, has shares in the Geo Group, and the Geo Group is a, a, an, it's a corporation that develops private detention centers and private prisons and they get taxpayer money to continue to hold detainees. We're here today in front of Wells Fargo in downtown Oakland to protest their investment in privatized immigration detention centers. They invest in many companies that run privatized detention centers. These detention centers have incredibly inhumane conditions. People have died. Since 2003, 124 people have actually died in these centers. They also give a lot of money to lobbyists to pass laws such as AB 1070 um, and anti-immigrant laws that will further um, have more people into the prison so they can continue to make money. So things like SB 1070, a racial profiling law in Arizona that is scooping up migrants just for the way they look, was drafted by ALEC, a lobbying arm that is invest that is a high priority for Wells Fargo to invest in. So we want to make them a target, let our community know that this bank is profiting from our pain, and also to join the Occupy movement and say, we are the 99%, we say in Spanish, somos el 99%, we are part of this, and we have issues we want to bring to the table as well. distribution of the wealth. Really, those banks that are not paying taxes, those rich people who are not paying taxes, it is not okay. They need to pay their fair share and we need to make sure that the services that are mostly needed, like housing, education, health care, um, and our human rights are being respected and honored. Well, I think the genius of the Occupy movement, which some of us, you know, folks of color that are trying to get involved would rather call the colonized movement, is that we've seen that a Republican Party is not our friend. We've seen that a Democratic Party has a lot of excuses for why it can't pass the kind of legislation that the 99% want. And what we've come to a conclusion and the maturity of this movement shows is that actually in this government, the banks and the corporations have more power than the people right now. And we need to change that dynamic.
I mean, I can't say what, and I've got a lot of ideas about what a good economic system could look like, but the only thing I can say for sure is that it's got to be something that everybody builds together, that everybody's a part of, 100%.